Hello everyone, thank you so much for tuning in. My name is Ron Kalawal. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button and share. Oh, I love your comments, so do leave a comment below. I want to talk about negotiation. I want to talk about how you can negotiate effectively. Now you can use some of the tips and advice that I'm going to include in this video for your business, your career, your life. <laughs> um, and whatever I've left off, if I don't include everything, I'll do my best to include them in a follow-up write-up on my website, ronkellowell.com. So the first thing you need to do when you are going in for a negotiation um, is prepare. So when you're negotiating for something, you you know you know it, what it is that you want, right? So you have an idea of what it is you the final outcome is. That's what you should that's what you should know. If you don't know, go back, feel it out. <laughs> you can't walk into any kind of negotiation in any area of your life without knowing it, knowing exactly what it is that you want. So you need to prepare. So the knowledge of the, the, the knowledge of your desired outcome um, is important, and as well as you know the research. So Let's think of a scenario. If you are negotiating with a potential client uh, in terms of costings, uh, fee, you've got to make sure you are re research the background of the client, right? So figure out what it is that they're capable of doing, um, previous projects. Uh, do your research, do your background research. Also do your background research pertaining to who it is you're speaking to. So in this video, I'm assuming that a lot of your negotiations are going to be with other people. <laughs> I'm trying to think, who else can you negotiate with? I don't know, a computer maybe, an alien? I don't know, but I'm going to focus on another human being that you are negotiating effectively with. <laughs> so I really want you to focus on doing a little bit of background research. You know, hopefully you've met them before. If you've not, you know, it's not likely, it's, you know, it's not unlikely, it's not like, you know, it might happen that you've met them before, you've done some networking with them before, you have a relationship with them before. But if you haven't had a relationship with them before, do a little bit of background research, um, visit their LinkedIn, their social media. Um, and if anybody in your network may or may not have met, you know, find out if anybody in your network may or may not have met them. Just to find, you know, I'm not asking you to stalk or do anything weird. Don't be, don't be weird. Don't be strange. <laughs> I just want you to understand, get an understanding of who it is you're going to be speaking with or speaking to. So I've already kind of addressed this, but I want us to really make sure we understand this. Now, know, know your desired outcome. What is it that you want? And from my perspective, I think it's always important, I think it's important to go into a negotiation with, slight, with a slightly higher expectation, to go, know what it is your minimum is, what the base, like that, is, that, is what you, that is what you are going to be happy with leaving whatever negotiation you're going into what you want to be happy uh, with leaving the room or whatever take going away from you know what are you taking away what are you taking from that <laughs> face <laughs> so make sure you know your minimum the standard that you will be happy with okay and go a little bit higher if it's if it's a, if it's to do with pay so if we focus on a pay scenario I would definitely say do your research as I've said and go a little bit higher now this is not to be uh, not to mislead people but I think you know, to my next point, you know that you add value. There is nothing wrong with identifying your value and sticking to it. So I don't want you to be unrealistic. I am not saying go and ask for a million pounds for a 10,000 pound project. <laughs> Hello. But if you know that you can add value, you might actually get that in your pants, but no, if you know what value it is you're bringing to the table, you should be, you should have the confidence to ask for a, a set amount that actually pertains, is in alignment with that value and be confident with it, right? So really always ask the question, what value can you bring? Will you be adding to this negotiation, to this scenario, right? So you cannot, you can never go in thinking that you are worth less than the person you're negotiating with, right? You've always got to think from the other side. Don't think, don't think from the side of, uh, of a, a kind of reductive perspective. Think of what can you bring to the other side? What, what will you, what, how will you benefit the other, why they need other side, that why they need you, okay? 
So you've got to stand firm with that. And if that means you need to do some work on yourself, your confidence, look at your portfolio, look at your business offer. If, if it means that you have to be honest and say, OK, maybe in this instance, I'm not ready for this. I need to do some more work. I need to build my business. I need to make sure my brand is um, is better than it than it currently is. Really do the assessment, do the critical analysis, make sure you've got a team or people in your corner who can help you to answer some of those questions and look at it from perspective. But once you've got to that point where you feel like, yep, yeah, You've got it. Go into the room or the space or the or on your call or whatever it is, however it is you're having this conversation or this communication flow and know that you should be able to reach a certain level of value that you will be happy with attaining, right? So I always say just a little bit more, go for a little bit more, but have a set amount, set standard that you'll be happy with, okay? When you're in a negotiation room, I would definitely say this isn't about, you know, playing games. I think you should have, you should have all your information and all your facts and information um, to hand and set things out clearly and logically. I would also say don't take things personally. Don't take rejection personally. Not everything is going to turn out the way you'd like it to turn out. But I would rather you learn from an experience than undersell yourself, right? So be ready to walk away. That's why I said you always have to have your, your base minimum. Be ready to walk away. Don't undersell yourself. And why I say that is if you go into a negotiation and you accept the offer that um, the other party gives you and you're not happy, but you, you accept it because you're, you're coming from a place of lack and you think, oh, well, this is the best, you know, this is the best that I can do and this is all they're going to give me. If you're, if you're going to accept it, also accept the possibility that you may become resentful and if that's you know if whatever you're accepting is not your base minimum you may become resentful so really ensure do you do you understand your value you know your value and you you don't undersell yourself and be ready to walk away be ready to walk away so i've spoken about doing the research I've talked about preparation. I've talked about getting to know the other person even before you start the negotiation. And hopefully, be, you know, sometimes it, it really does help if you've built a relationship. So you've got to make sure you've built a relationship with the other party if you can. But, you know, it's not always possible. And I know I said you've got to make sure, but I think it's, it's important to, to see it as, as important. It's important to see it as important. <laughs> you, know, <laughs> you know what I mean? You know what I mean, I hope. Make sure you recognise the value of building solid relationships, okay, in the negotiation process. But that being said, do not take any kind of rejection personally and do not undersell yourself. So don't stay in a room where you don't feel value. And complete things professionally, complete things in a way that you can always come back. I, I've spoken about likability versus respect, versus being respected, right? You might walk out of that room and you don't necessarily, you're not necessarily like, but you want to walk out of that room or, you know, off the, come off that call where your knowledge is respected, your value has, is, is, is seen, even if the other party cannot um, afford you, okay? So always keep that into consideration. Make sure that you... You, you keep some of the points I've, I've mentioned in, cons in consideration. And when you're negotiating, you have to have that confidence. You have to be able to look at things with um, fresh eyes. Every time you come away from a negotiation, what have you learned? Look back at everything and look at what can you do better next time? Uh, constantly be learning, okay? So... Hopefully this video has helped. I'm going to include some more pointers on my website. And I do hope that you can use the things that I've, I've, I've recommended in this video and, and, and you know, get, get the things that you, you deserve. 